Making something fly isn't that complicated. By following some simple rules, you could get a piece of Dollar Tree foam board fly in like less than 30 minutes. And so I guess I decided to document this process for you. We start off by going to the online CG calculator. This Dollar Tree foam board is 30 by 20 inches wide. This calculator tells us that the CG is just 4 inches behind the leading edge. This tells us that all the heavy things must be as forward as can be. Next, we go get our parts. You'll need at least two foam boards, one for the actual plane and one for cutting your vertical stabilizer. You also need tons of hot glue sticks, so don't forget those. Here is the basic design for the plane. I have my vertical stabilizer line drawn and my CG point marked. You can pause the video here if you want to look at this picture more closely. This plane uses elevons. This means that they act as both elevators and ailerons for the plane. In other words, up, down, left, and right. When I move my stick up, both elevons should go up. This causes the plane to climb. When I move the stick down, both elevons should go down, causing the plane to descend. For left and right, the elevons move in opposite directions. To turn right, the right elevon goes up and the left goes down. To turn left, the left elevon goes up and the right one down. To make our motor mount, I simply screwed on a 750 kilovolt motor spinning a 11 inch prop to a piece of plywood. I then glued the plywood to a half inch thick insulation foam and glued together the back. To make the bottom of the mount flat so that it can easily be glued to the poster board, I simply put on a piece of foam on the bottom of the mount. These are some pictures of the motor mount connected to the foam board. I have my battery velcroed right behind the motor. This is a close up of pictures of my battery, ESC, and receiver. All these parts will also be in the description below. Oh yeah, and you can cut the vertical stabilizer to whatever dimensions you want. Just make sure it's big enough so it'll keep the plane steady in there. This is a basic overlay when you are finished. If you have any questions, just comment below. Happy flying!